Highway 19 is dead after getting hit by a car. The road's dangerous reputation has long been an issue, and it's something we've been telling you about for years, looking for possible solutions. Tonight, ABC Action News reporter Eric Waxler is learning more about an upgrade in the area that might soon help. US 19 in Newport Ritchie always seems to be busy with cars and people walking. But from Main Street north all the way to the bridge leading to Port Ritchie, Police Chief Ken Bogart says there is no safe place to cross. So there's no convenient way for, for someone who's on the other side of 19, on the east side, to cross over to the west side. And there are plenty of businesses that get frequented over here. And once again, someone crossing 19 where there is no crosswalk was hit and killed. It happened last night at 19 and Green Key Road. Investigators say the victim is a woman in her 50s. When I got the call, um, I swore under my breath because I felt like it was one more that we're adding to this count that's unnecessary. Police say in the last five years, four pedestrians have died on this short stretch of 19 that's less than two miles. But finally, the chief says he just found out the Florida Department of Transportation has plans to put a crossing here very close to where this latest accident happened. It will have traffic lights and a pause area in the median. It's going to be very much redesigned. This is just one small stretch of US 19. Many other people have been killed in other spots along the road in Pasco and Pinellas County. Improvements have been made elsewhere, and there is a two-lane elevated roadway coming in Pinellas next year. But the danger still exists, especially for those who are not extra careful. In the meantime, the chief says to walk the extra distance so you can cross safely. In Newport Ritchie, Eric Waxler, ABC Action News. And in Hillsborough.